For today's experiment, we've got some of the best players in world football on display here, as we've got the best of Europe going up against the best Americans. That's South America and North America combined, and it should be a pretty interesting battle. I'm going to be splitting this experiment into two parts. First of all, a computer versus computer matchup, Team Europe up against Team America, and then secondly, we'll perform a simulated season and see which team comes out on top. Also though, if you want to see another similar video to this one in the future, if you can smash over a thousand likes on this video, I'll do another continental battle, there'll be a poll in the top right hand corner, you can vote for which battle you'd like to see next and, as I say, a thousand likes and I will definitely do that. Of course though, if you're not really subscribed to the channel and want to make sure that you definitely catch that next video, Smash that subscribe button right now and you'll make sure that you don't miss any of my future videos. So this is the European team that I put together. To be completely honest with you though, choosing those central midfielders was a bit of a nightmare. In the end though, I went for the highest rated players but I did change my mind several times over. And when you see the depth in this team, you'll understand why. We've got the likes of Luka Modric and Thiago on the bench, Pogba, Verratti, Conte, uh, Iniesta, Ozil, Eriksson, Rakitic, David Silva, so many options in the reserves, a few options on the bench too. Basically this team is just so incredibly stacked and in every single position we had to make some pretty tough choices. This is the team that I went with though and this is the team that will be representing Team America. Messi's the captain, I put them on his boyhood club of Newell's old boys and once again just look at the quality on display in this team. Suarez and Higuain up top, Neymar on the left wing, Messi on the right, ridiculous midfielders, incredible defence, Navas representing North America in goal, incredible bench, and Cavani couldn't even make the bench. This is how good this team is. Look how stacked even the reserves are. Not many players representing North America, it's mainly South Americans, but yeah, like I said before, they do have Navas in goal representing North America, and the team in general is just incredible. So, yeah. Before I get going with the gameplay though, I just want to say a massive thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring today's experiment. You can use their app to follow the latest football and news, keep up to date with the latest matches, and you can even check out the season stats for your favourite clubs and players. So, for instance, you could look into Messi's form, and begin to question whether or not Ronaldo really is better than him right now. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments section down below. Basically though, if you're a big fan of football and want to keep up to date with the latest goings on, the OneFootball app is well worth checking out. It's completely free to download, so there's no real reason not to give it a go. And if you've not really got it installed on your phone, definitely check out the link in the description down below. Maybe you can even check out the tactical voting that went on for the Men's Player Award whilst you're there. Massive thanks to them once again for sponsoring the video. Let's get into the experiment though, and let's find out which team comes out on top. Team Europe or Team America? Here we go then, it's game time. Team Europe with the kickoff. I can't wait to see how this one goes. Team America with the corner now then, they whip that one over. Bale gets his head to it, clears it over to Ronaldo, takes it under his control, moves it past Dani Alves, and this is a very good opportunity for Team Europe. Ronaldo, bags of pace, moving it down the wing, gonna cross that one over, finds Bale, who in turn finds Hazard, and that was very nearly a goal. Not a bad strike from Hazard, obviously could have been a bit better though, as he could have found the back of the net. Didn't though, slices it wide, and Zidane is not a happy man. Here comes Carvajal, working his way down the right wing now then, what's he gonna do with this one? Turns it inside to Cristiano, nice bit of play from Lewandowski, and it's 1-0 to Team Europe. Ronaldo has found the back of the net, assist for Lewandowski, Ronaldo is off to celebrate and yeah it's 1-0 to Team Europe, advantage Europe, America have got a lot of work to do and why is Lewandowski wearing red gloves? De Bruyne has got gloves on too, he's got black gloves. If you're going to insist on wearing gloves lads, at least coordinate your colours yeah? Anyway though let's take another look at this one on the replay, brilliant pass in football there, easy finish to be honest for Ronaldo but he still had to take it, finds the back of the net and he's made it 1-0 to Team Europe. Here come Team America now then, Luis Suarez is on the ball, plays it out wide to Lionel Messi, what can he do with this one? 
Not a lot. And here come Team America once again now then. Higuain plays that one on to Neymar. He looks up. He's going to look for Luis Suarez. Nice little pass there to Higuain. And what a finish. Team America's passing play so far has just been absolutely exquisite. Look at that intricate passing play. Higuain smashes it into the back of the net past Neuer. Beautiful goal. Brilliant leveller. And it's now 1-1. Team Europe have got a chance to get back into this one now then with a corner. They play that one in and who is that that just went flying? Seriously, look at that. That is impressive. So it's level at half time and there's everything still to play for in the second half. Two shots on target each in that first half. 54% possession for Team Europe. 91% passing accuracy. Personally, I thought Team America looked better in that first half. But looking at those stats... That would suggest that Team Europe is currently playing the better football. So, yeah, anything can happen in the second half. Which team is going to come out on top? Let's find out. Here comes Paolo Dybala now then. Plays that one forward to Higuain. Lovely little ball roll there to get past his man. Attacking the defence. It's back with him and it's 2-1. What a finish from Higuain. He scored an absolute belter in the first half. And that one wasn't too bad either. Lovely ball roll. Get a bit lucky with that touch. It comes off the Team Europe defender straight into the path of Dybala. He finds Higuain. There's nothing lucky about the finish though. Look at that. Into the corner. 2-1. Team Europe have got it all to do here. And Alaba is working his way down the wing. Plays that across to Kevin De Bruyne. Go for a long shot, mate. He's moved it through to Eden Hazard instead. He looks up. Plays it across to Gareth Bale. And that should have been the equaliser. I have absolutely no idea how he's missed that one. And instantly he's getting subbed off. Zidane is clearly not happy with what he's seen there. And I can't blame him for subbing him off. That was terrible. Iron Robin with his first opportunity to impress now then. What's he going to do here? Plays it through to De Bruyne. Gets it back. And that should have been a goal. How was that not a goal too? Just come onto the pitch fresh on the field. Maybe could have got the equaliser. Decided to go for it with his weak foot though and hit it straight at Kaylor Navas. Ronaldo's lining up to bang this one top corner now then. Yeah, maybe not. Team Europe are piling on the pressure. Lewandowski is working his way down the wing. Tried to cross it over. Didn't really work twice. Anyway though, they've still got possession and that is not a good effort. It's gone sailing right over the bar. Team America might even get a third here. They're looking very dangerous in attack. Dani Alves plays that one through. Swept that across. He goes it alone instead. Not the right decision. He's already scored once today, but Cristiano Ronaldo is now looking for a late leveller. Can he take this one to extra time? Nope. He's been pushed off the ball, and that could be their final chance of the game. It is. That is the final whistle, and Team America have won the game 2-1. Higuain was the man of the match there with a 9 out of 10 rating. Two goals for him. Brilliant performance. Not so great from Messi, however. He was the captain for the day and only picked up a 6.8. Disappointing. Cristiano Ronaldo, meanwhile, was the best player on Team Europe. And as you can see there, Zidane clearly switched up the formation midway through the match. Didn't quite work out for them, though, and they still lost. These are the full-time stats. Team America might have won that game, but will they come out on top in the simulated battle too? Let's find out. I've taken out Bournemouth and Crystal Palace as they're the bottom two in the Premier League in reality right now. Replace them with Team America and Team Europe. Team Europe have got a 91 rated attack, 89 rated midfield and an 87 rated defence. Whilst Team America, 90 attack, 88 midfield and 86 defence. So Team Europe slightly better in every single area. Will that translate in the simulated season though? Will Team Europe come out on top? Or will Team America win once again? Let's sim forward to January and let's see how things are going. So here we are then. We've arrived at January and it's time to take a look at the league table. Team Europe are out in first position. They've not lost all season. Not bad. Team America, meanwhile, aren't doing too bad either. They're in second. They're 11 points behind. But they are 12 points ahead of Manchester United. So, yeah, decent season so far. And as teams no longer have their best European or American players, it's definitely changed up the table a bit. Watford a fourth, Burnley a fifth, and down in the relegation zone, we've got Newcastle, Brighton, and Manchester City on 12 points. Bravo and Edison are both in Team America, so yeah, that explains why they're not doing so great. They've lost their two best keepers, and they're really struggling. Ronaldo is currently the joint top scorer, along with Rodriguez. 
Not James Rodriguez though, Jay Rodriguez. Alex Awobi also has 11 goals, so it's a three-way tie at the top. Ericsson has got the most assists, followed by James Rodriguez. No, not James Rodriguez, it's Jay Rodriguez again. Why is Jay Rodriguez absolutely smashing it in this sim? I have no idea. And then keeping the most clean sheets, we've got Hugo Lloris. Let's sim forward to the end of the season now then, and let's find out which team comes out on top. Will Team Europe continue to dominate, or will Team America make a comeback? Let's find out. No way. All of those world-class talents, and it's Jay Rodriguez that comes out as the top scorer. Wasn't expecting that when I went into this sim. Ronaldo is second, whilst Alexi Sanchez is in third position. Ericsson got 18 assists, pretty powerful, and Hugo Lloris continued to be the best goalkeeper. Tom Heaton wasn't too far behind him though. Team Europe went on to lose four games in the second half of the season. Still finished eight points ahead of Team America though, so yeah, they might have lost the original game, but they won the overall battle. Manchester United came third, Liverpool finished fourth, and Watford came in fifth position. Whilst down in the relegation zone, we've got Newcastle, Brighton, and Manchester City with 26 points. They came dead last. Interesting. Higuain and Luis Suarez failed to score any goals between them throughout the course of the entire season, and they only made 12 appearances between them. Who was picking this team? Someone that favoured Firmino and Cavani, apparently. Sanchez was the top scorer, Dybala got 5 in 16, and Messi only scored 4 in 19 matches. He was pretty terrible in that first game, Team Europe against Team America, and that continued throughout the course of the season by the looks of things. 19 games and 4 goals. Not good enough for a player of Messi's quality. Cavani and Sanchez were both ever present, whilst Firmino and Valencia only missed one game apiece. As I said before though, who on earth was picking this team? Not only were there some seriously weird decisions in attack, but also in goal. Navas only made one appearance all season. Why? At least the game wasn't too biased though, it was making weird decisions for both teams. De Gea and Courtois both failed to play any matches throughout the course of the season. Hugo Lloris was of course first choice, and Neuer played four times. Griezmann, Carvajal, Ronaldo and Eriksen played every single match. Alaba played 37, Ramos 34, as did Azpilicueta. Ronaldo scored the most goals for Team Europe. Robin was second, Griezmann third, and Benzema came in fourth position, just in front of Robert Lewandowski. Those assist stats for Ericsson though. If you're simming through a season, you definitely want this man in your team. So once again, massive congratulations to Jay Rodriguez for winning the Golden Boot, and he also appears in the team of the year too, along with Alaba, who was apparently playing for Adidas All-Star, a team that wasn't involved in the competition. Interesting. Anyway though, thanks for watching, have an awesome day, I hope you've enjoyed the video, leave it a like if you have done, and I'll catch you again next time.